हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल योर टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल अबाउट वर्टिकल अपलिफ्ट एक्जियल लेटरल कैपेसिटी ऑफ पाइल्स बोर्ड कास्टिंग टू कंक्रीट पाइल्स देयर सेंटर टू सेंटर स्पेसिंग एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी कंसिडरेशन एज पर इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड कोड आई एस पार्ट वन सेक्शन टू टू नाउ वर्टिकल लोड कैपेसिटी यूजिंग स्टैटिक फॉर्मूला The ultimate load capacity of a single pile depends on the reliability of soil properties of the stratigraphy of the site. That is, when we go to the site and collect the samples and do the necessary laboratory test work at the lab, on the basis of which, using this static formula and the shear strength parameters obtained from the test results from the uh, of the samples collected from the borehole data and laboratory and in situ field tests. The capacity which we obtain is the ultimate load capacity. Uplift capacity. The uplift capacity of a pile is the sum of the frictional resistance and the weight of the pile, which should be taken as buoyant or as relevant. The recommended factor of safety is three in absence of any pullout test results for calculating this uplift capacity. Otherwise, it should be taken as two if you are to do pullout tests at the site. And this is also being calculated. As per the static formula given in Annex B of the code, I am referring to the relevant uh, clauses of this uh, Indian Standard Code. Axial capacity: the axial load carrying capacity of piles fully embedded in soil, having an undrained shear strength not less than 0.01 newton per mm square, is not necessarily limited by its strength as a long column, whereas. For piles installed in very weak soils having an undrained shear strength less than 0.01 newton per mm square, considerations are to be made to determine whether the shaft would behave as a long column or not. <laughs> If necessary, suitable reductions are also made for its structural strength following the normal structural principles covering the buckling phenomena. Lateral capacity, lateral load capacity of the pile may be subjected. that is a pile may be subjected to lateral forces like wind earthquake water current earth pressure effect of moving vehicles or ships plant and equipment etc therefore as such the lateral load ca carrying capacity of a single pile depends on the horizontal subgrade modulus of the surrounding soil as well as it depends on the structural strength of the pile shaft against bending consequent upon application of any kind of lateral loads which while considering lateral load on piles effect of other coexistent loads including the axial load on a pile should also be taken into consideration for checking the structural capacity of the shaft now as regards deciding the spacing of piles in a pile group the minimum center to center spacing of piles depend on three aspects <clears throat> number one practical aspects of installing the piles number 2 diameter of the pile number 3 nature of load transfer to the soil and possible reduction in load capacity of pile scope a point to note is that in case of piles of non circular cross section diameter of the circumscribing circle is adopted for taking all these decisions as per clause 6.6.1 of this indian standard code in case of piles founded on hard stratum and deriving their capacity mainly from end bearing component minimum center to center of spacing shall be 2 and a half times the diameter of the pile shaft in case of piles resting on rock the spacing of two times of the said diameter of the pile may be adopted as per clause 6.6.2 of this indian standard code piles deriving their load carrying capacity mainly from friction that is friction bearing piles should be spaced sufficiently apart to ensure that the zones of soils from which the piles derive their support do not overlap to such an extent that their bearing values are reduced therefore in general center to center spacing of such piles should be three times the diameter of the shaft now coming to the factor of safety being applied while doing these calculations of this capacities of piles factor of safety should be chosen after considering the reliability of the calculated value of ultimate load capacity of a pile the type of superstructure and the type of loading and as well the allowable total differential settlement of the structure which is to be decided 
by the structural engineering concerned in reference to the relevant Indian standard codes. When the ultimate load capacity is determined from a static formula, the factor of safety would depend on the static formula itself and the reliability of subsoil parameters used in the computation. The minimum factor of safety on a static formula recommended usually is 2.5. The final selection of a factor of safety shall take into consideration the load settlement characteristics of the structure as a whole at a given site. Higher value of factor of safety for determining the safe load on piles may be adopted where settlement is to be limited or unequal settlement need be avoided. A large impact or by vibrating loads are expected and the properties of the soil may deteriorate with time. That is, in such exceptional cases, higher factor of safety may be adopted in lieu with the client concern and the structure engineer concern who is designing the foundations should decide accordingly. So, dear friends, I think uh, I would have covered one more important topic of geotechnical engineering. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you very much.